Here late, they protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win Never. at home. Never. All right? And sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that Check. done today. Already. Just think about your routine stays Already. the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message Let's to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Now a first down throw, McNabb. Looking middle and it's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Here's McNabb. His throw caught right around the six. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, 31 yards. And the Eagles get a score closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. Roughing the kicker, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now out comes Minnesota. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. Right, the we practicing Three, of the 19. kneel down formation, the victory 19. formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case. They've got his man complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And Marino going to throw despite the late lead. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. It was Jalen Mills getting a hand in there defensively. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully right, complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight right, lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Again on second and ten, it's Marino. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And that is incomplete. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter what. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. giant side of the field a huge play there right off the bat 54 yards there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that have explosive plays that's often the difference in winning and losing those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance that'll drive a team towards a victory on any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always tell his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Terrell Owens from three yards out. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Mike Zimmer's made the decision. His guys will go for two. In a very familiar sight, Tio in the end zone. How about three different seasons he led the NFL in receiving touchdowns and is the only player in NFL history to score a touchdown against all 32 NFL teams. And even crazier, he had at least two touchdowns against every team. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now on first down. 
choke. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But I believe the Giants got this back, and they will hold on to the possession. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by the Hall of Famer, Mel Blunt. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. 